ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு சாம் சயின்ஸ் வியூ சேனல் இன் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லிசன் டு அ சயின்ஸ் ஃபேக்ட் ஒய் டூ எஃப் ஒன் டயர்ஸ் ஹாவ் நோ த்ரெட் ஒய் ஆர் தே ஸ்மூத் பிஃபோர் கோயிங் இன் டு த வீடியோ இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் எனி கிளாரிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் ரிகார்டிங் சயின்ஸ் ஃபேக்ட்ஸ் யூ கேன் கமெண்ட் த்ரூ திஸ் சேனல் அண்ட் கெட் இட் ரெக்டிஃபைட் அண்ட் யூ கேன் சப்போர்ட் மை சேனல் பை giving the science facts related questions now let's get into the video if you have ever watched a formula 1 race then you have likely noticed that the tires that the teams use don't have any tread on them these tires are called slicks and they have a smooth rubber surface unlike those on your road cars This may leave you wonder why F1 tires have no tread. F1 tires have no tread as smooth slick tires provide more grip than those with tread in dry conditions. Smooth tires allow for more rubber from the tire to be directly contacting the ground. This in turn gives the car more grip as it is traveling along the track. allowing it to go faster when watching an f1 race in bad weather though you will notice that not all the tires that teams use are slicks not all slick tires are equal in performance either f1 tires have no treads as slick tires provide more grip in dry conditions than tires with tread while F1 cars will use tires with uh, some thread in the wet if it's dry the fastest tire to be on is the one with the largest contact patch on the ground and these are slick tires some people may have the misconception that threads on a tire or uh, what give tires grip after all off-road vehicles often have very deep treads to give them more traction this is not the case for cars that race on asphalt though the amount of grip on tarmac is directly correlated to how much rubber from the tire is touching the track if two of the same cars are driven around a track in dry conditions and one car has slicks and the other has tread on their tires then the car with slicks will always win as long as we assume that in this thought experiment both drivers are equally skilled as well of course contact patch size is incredibly important in f1 the size of a contact patch is determined by finding out how much rubber on the surface of the tire is physically contacting the track the larger the contact patch the more grip the car will have tread decreases the size of contact patches because there are pockets of open space that aren't doing anything between the tread blocks one of the drawbacks of not having tread on your tires is that bad weather is not kind at all to slick tires tread is made for bad weather if it is raining water is able to be funneled through the threads and keep the tire connected to the track via the tread blocks as opposed to the tire resting entirely on top of the water this helps to prevent f1 cars hydroplaning there are two types of tires with a uh, tread that uh, f1 teams utilize these are the intermediate tire set for light rain or dampness and the full wet tire set for heavy rain so if the weather starts to turn bad out of the blue then teams are able to quickly make a pit stop and change it to the correct tire for the track conditions if a driver gets caught out with slick tires on their car and the track is wet the water will very 
quickly not be able to be moved out from underneath the tire and the car will simply glide on top of it causing it to aqua plane f1 wet tires on the other hand can disperse around 85 liters of water per second each at 186 miles per hour now how do f1 tires provide grip formula 1 tires provide grip in the same basic way that all tires on any car do they utilize large contact patches that ultimately keep the car connected to the road however there are some differences that allow f1 tires to perform better than our average road tires would aside from the fact their lack of tread means the contact patches are far bigger than those of our road tires one of the most important differences is that f1 tires are made with a different consistency of rubber than you would generally find in our road cars tire f1 tires are much softer which causes the tire to degrade very quickly in comparison to normal tires f1 tires don't need to last very long they are often used for just a dozen laps or so often less than 100 miles depending on the compound before they are changed in a pit stop some may be able to last effectively a full race distance but this is still going to be less than 200 miles if you had to switch out your tires every few hundred miles on your daily driver you would probably get very annoyed by that so regular car road car tires have a mixed consistency with some rubber and other chemicals added into extend the life of the tire f1 tires are therefore much softer than your average road tire soft tires are better at increasing the contact patch between the track and the tire and they provide more grip even the harder tires used in f1 provide much more grip than our average road tire and their compounds are still much softer too so we have seen that f1 uh, car tires are uh, not having the tread because the rubber type is very different and it is much rubberized and it might last only for 100 miles and uh, it gives more grip than the normal uh, tires uh, which are we, we use in the roads and it is much softer and uh, that's why it is being changed often after a pit stop in between the f1 races you can notice in the f1 race so that's it for today's video hope so you have got some uh, scientific fact related uh, ideas regarding the f1 cars why the threads are not found in it and why it is so smooth and how uh, it can uh, provide a grip on the road and uh, if you have any science related fact uh, doubts you can uh, clarify it with uh, my channel and uh, get enlightened uh, with the science facts we will see in the next uh, science fact treasury series video with the interesting science fact until then it's goodbye from sam take care